In this video, we're going to cover creating our first slideshow with MessageNow. So I'm going to open it up, double click it. Connect to server. Add slide. Here's where you're going to name your slide, and this is also where you'll set the duration. It defaults at 10 seconds, and we're going to leave it right there. Okay, when you start designing, the first thing you want to think about is where you're going to drop your widget panel. This is what allows you to use the functionality of these widgets, which are pre-built applications. So we are going to bring in a widget panel, drop it. It's going to bind to the top since you dropped in the top. However, you can put it wherever you want, and you can use multiple widget, uh, widget panels as well. We'll cover that. Um, we're going to resize this a little bit, okay, and then we're going to double click on it, which takes us to our properties. And we want to change. We want to change the fill color of it to gray. Okay. So now that we have our widget panel placed, we can go ahead and start bringing in our widgets. We're going to do a clock, a date, a ticker. Simple weather. Slideshow. Actually, we're not going to bring in slideshow yet. Um, and we're going to do a logo as well. Okay. So now that we've dropped all of our widgets, we can go ahead and start customizing them. So just click on the object. When you click on it, it's going to take you straight to your properties. And it's a little bit hard to see like that, so we want to go ahead and change the way that looks. We're going to bring that up to, we'll say, a 32. Okay. And we also want to change the color of it. We are going to go with white. And that's still a little small. We'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Go to 72. Seven twelve p.m. Very good. It matches up with our local time here. And we'll do the same thing with the date. We're going to make a custom 60 here. And we are going to change the color of this as well to white. Drag it to fit. Now that looks just a little bit too big for me, so I want to change that up again. We are going to change the font to match up with the date. Go back to 60. And by the way, this is where, if you want, you can go ahead and change the way you, the font appears. Um, you can also change the uh, whether you want it regular, italic, bold, however you'd like. So we're going to drop that back down, resize it. And make that look just a little bit neater there. Okay, so we got current time and date. Now we're going to take a look at the weather widget. I'm going to bring that out a little bit. So, what you do first is you're going to enter your zip code. Once you enter that zip code and hit enter, it's going to go out and look at your weather. Uh, this is where you can set the, the intervals, but you can't see it. So let's go ahead and 
let's bring that up. If that's a 60, we're going to make this one like a um, 25. Well, there's a 26 right there. Let's do 26. Regular. Okay. No, that's not okay. So, do 32 maybe. That's a little bit better. And we want to change the color as well. Not the border color though. We want to change the fill color. No, we don't. We don't want to change the fill color. The fill color actually changes. It'll make the background here that you see a different color. So we want to just change the font color. Border color, blah, 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 blah. Temperature color. Okay, we're gonna, oops. Change it to white. And we're also gonna change that to white. Very good. So that's a 32. We'll bring this to 32. We'll also take it back to regular. So we've got the current temperature going on over here as well. A ticker, what a ticker does is it allows you to um, input a scrolling message, basically. So we're going to put a ticker right here. And we want it to say, to get to input what you want your text to be, you just double click on it. So it matches up a little bit here. Now we also wanted to bring in a logo. That's up here. And when we first drop it in, it didn't have anything in there. We need to we need to populate that area. So come over here to image. This is where it's going to pop this up, and this is a dialog box that you can take. However, it is that you store your files. Um, this is where you would navigate to those. And we wanted to do an image company logo. So now we have our company logo in there looking real good. Might want to change the background of this fill here. Uh, let's see if we can get something else a little bit more closer to a dark gray. Dark gray. Hmm, it's not very dark. Let's go with. You know what? It would probably look actually pretty good if we went with black. So we'll go with black. Yeah, it does look really good. So we'll leave it like that. So right now we have our logo in here. Everything set up. We got the ticker. We still have a slideshow over here somewhere. Let's look for it. So if you can't find your object, just come over here under the drop-down menu. Oh, no, I didn't put it there. That's right. Okay, so we wanted to do that as an example for placing two widget panels. So we'll bring in a left panel as well. Bring it out. Say we want to put a slideshow here. So go to Toolbox, Widgets, Slideshow, drop it in, let it fit the dimensions that you set on your widget panel. And it'll tell you by that little caution, don't go, or stop sign you got right there, how far you can go. So though, right there is where you want to go. Now, once you have it placed, you want to come over here, add image, 
we're going to add a couple images. And you can keep going, but we're just going to go with five images for now. Okay, so we're going to set this to two seconds. That way it'll take up the exact amount of time that it needs. Put that right back there. Oops. Okay, so now we want to see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and preview it. play for 10 seconds and then it'll just start back over again if you notice when it starts back over again the ticker still goes <coughs> okay so we like this slide we're gonna go ahead and publish it publishing it is saving it to your server it's not broadcasting it to play Okay, it's published. Now we need to schedule it. Scheduling it is how you start the broadcast on it. So we're going to add scheduling. We are going to stick with the default, which just leaves it in the position that it's in. However, if you wanted to do a special slide for um, birthdays or holidays, you could go in here, specify the date and time that you want it to play. Um, and these times all have to match up. The, d the date and time start has to sync up with active. And date and time end has to sync up with active two. So these have to match. If you wanted to do a, a weekly or a monthly, this is where you'd go about doing that as well. But we're just going to stick with the uh, default. So go ahead and hit OK. If you look over here, this is red. That's a visual rep representation that um, it's not going to play. But after you schedule it, you notice that that changes color. And we're good to go. So we're going to add a new slide. And we want to bring in a video. Double click on the video. Successful. There you go. You got a video on your slide. Let's go ahead and look at it. Okay, so that's how you import to video. We want to import, so we'll go ahead and save that actually, we'll publish that. And schedule it. Okay, new slide. I'm going to bring in some audio. Go ahead and drop in some audio. Go to where your audio is. audio added successfully but it brought in the whole song three minute song we don't want that entire song we want to drop it down to match up with the first slide here 10 seconds okay and then we want it's an audio file we also have to adjust the top part on the timeline slide properties 10 seconds now that's synced up and let's see if we hear anything. So that's how you would go about adding audio files to your slide. Running string is a scrolling text. You can bring that down here, double click on it.
let's take off this border. Oops. All right. Now we'll bring in an image. That image as well. And let's preview it. And there we go, we got our image, we got our string. If we turn the audio up, you can hear it again. Go ahead and publish it. Schedule to play. Now we got three slides here. And finally, our custom objects. This is all our standard objects. So we want to go ahead and add a new slide. Chain three. It's where you bring in simple text. Double click it to change it. Okay, now you got text. You can bring in as many of those as you want. Your bullet item from menus. This works really well. Double click on it. And you can add things by just clicking the add button. Uh, and so you can just add as many lists as you want here. You can make this bigger just by going over here to your properties panel, making it bigger and then dragging it out. Same with the numbered text. I'm sorry, the numbered list. And then we also have all these objects. I'm not gonna cover every one of them. We'll cover, uh, we'll do the, we'll do the star. Bring in a star. We will change the color of it. And we'll get rid of the border. Now we have a star. We want to add some animation to it. Click on Add Animation. We're going to keep this on the input. And we'll have it do centrifuge. OK. And let's take a look at it. Now you have your animated object. To publish. Schedule. Now we've covered all of the different panels, the different drop down menus over here that we're going to cover in this video. Mm -hmm.